long ago when Yu-Gi-Oh was still young. I embarked on a journey to become a true duelist. With my gladiator beast by my side, I learned the ways of the Nevermiss, enhancing my gameplay, teaching me the rogue style, and I finally found my place as a duelist. But in Duel Links, the game has changed, and the time has come to return to the lab for a new strategy. YT Dan Duel Links is brought to you by dank duelists like you. Become a YouTube member to never miss. Duelists, the time is now at hand. The Gladiator Beasts have received new support from Gladiator Storm Structure Day. And with it, the powers of the Gladiator Beasts have increased 10,000 fold because they can now access the fusion fire. Gladiator Beast Gazardis, a powerful monster that can destroy up to two cards when summoned. Surely there must be a way to end the game with this card alone, but how? The Gladiator Beast suffered from a poor turn one play. Due to the lack of support they received, it makes it hard to set up a board that is impenetrable for your opponent to break. So when we can't set up a board to win, we set up a board to destroy. By using Test Tiger's effect to summon Augustus, I can special summon from my hand, Gladiator Beast Bestiari. And with Contact Fusion, I can summon Gazarus. But that's not all. From my hand... Phoenix Beast Garuda. Level 6, Wind, Winged Beast, Effect Monster. Monster Effect. If this card attacks an opponent's monster, this card gains 300 attack points during the damage step only. With the power of Swallow's Nest, while Gladiator Beast Gazarus is on the field, I can tag him out for Phoenix Beast Garuda. And because I can do it within battle, it will be the end of this duel. And with Phoenix Beast Garuda, my research has finally been completed. And the time has finally come to never miss. Long have we waited, plunged in the heart of darkness for the gladiator beast to bring salvation. And when they appeared, we feared that they didn't have enough power to make it to the end. But with the Swallow's Nest and Phoenix Beast Garuda, the gladiator beast has the power to exterminate metas now and forever. The age of the gladiator is here. What's going on my boys? YT Dan back again with another Duel Links video. Today's video is gonna be different unlike any other video because this is the first time I'm finally getting to introduce the Gladiator Beast OTK Nevermiss with its new ace monster, Phoenix Beast Garuda. Now this card is amazing. It's a level six wind winged beast, which allows us to have a 2,500 beater to combo off of our Swallow's Nest after we synchro, after we contact fusion into our Gladiator Beast Gazaris. Now, 
going back to fusion powers is definitely something I got to get used to. But within this deck, I found that I have found the way. Now, the deck that I have shown you guys previously during the preview was the deck that I played through and learned and got all the experience with. But now that I've played with the deck and refined it and retooled it a little bit, I have made some changes. So here's the big changes I made to the deck. What I did was went ahead and added a second Gladiator Beast Augustus, and I had to go ahead and add a second um, Gladiator Beast and Dale, and then I went ahead and took out a Questy and added Gladiator Beast Darius, and here's why. It's really easy to understand why I took out the two uh, symbols of duty, the spell card that pretty much turns any monster into a gladiator beast. That card is a little bit um, extra. It's a win more. It's a card that you kind of don't need when you're playing this deck. What you actually need when you're playing this deck is of course a method to special summon back a Gladiator Beast Bestiari from the graveyard and also a second Augustus because drawing Augustus on your first turn or drawing Gladiator Beast and Dale on your first turn is an easy way to brick the entire deck. The worst possible draw is to draw these cards and, and have them unusable in the deck. So which is why you must run two because it's very mandatory. Now the card of Phoenix Beast Garuda it's really good card because it hides in the deck because I'm using my monster cards. My monster cards prioritizes all the other cards in the deck except for literally these three cards, the two Augustus and the one Phoenix Beast Garuda. And honestly, I would say with that being said, never run more than one Phoenix Beast. Always run one Phoenix Beast. If Phoenix Beast end up in your hand, you can always special summon Test Tiger and tribute for Phoenix Beast. But you can never special summon Test Tiger and tribute for Augustus, which is why you need Augustus to summon Augustus so that Augustus can bring down one more monster and you can use Gladiator Beast and Data and use and Data to special summon either Gazarus, Herc, or Narokius. So this is the deck, my boys, and I really, really think that this is pretty good. I've been able to streak really good with this deck and also get clapped using this deck. Now I've used a lot of different techniques and, and different uh, things in this in this deck in terms of uh, extra cards in that slot where I had those two uh, spell cards, things like Karibo and everything else. And honestly, I feel like it's almost, this is my personal opinion, it's a waste of time to run cards like Cosmic Cyclone almost because f there is a ton of Dark Magicians out on the ladder. And this is only advice for the Linked Ratter. Um, there is tons of decks that are all running um, back row. And you can easily clear most of the back row with Gazaris. But the problem comes when you come against Dark Magician and they play circle, they set navigation, and they set some active back row. When they have two set back row and Magician circle, it does make it hard to navigate around that. But a lot of times, if it, if that back row that they have live is not Treacherous Trap Hole, you should be able to use Test Tiger, Augustus, and Beast Yari to clear up the field. But it really just depends on what that opponent has in the back row. And we need to fine tune this deck to be a better matchup against Dark Magician. Because Dark Magician is this deck's uh, struggle matchup. It, it is tough to beat Dark Magician, especially if they get to go first and they set everything up and they have Dark Magicians in hand and you guys know how that deck plays. But the only way to break that board, unfortunately, is with cards like Night Beam or Cosmic Cyclone. And both of those cards, Night Beam and Cosmic Cyclone, really come into a detriment in this deck. If you would be drawing Cosmic Cyclone or Night Beam, you should have been having these cards in hand. And if you have Cosmic Cyclone in your hand when you only have your Unexpected Die or Cosmic Cyclone in your hand and you only have Swallow's Nest, it's not as strong. But if you have these two cards and a Test Tiger, that could be game. So I thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really do appreciate it. If this is the end of your journey with me, thank you, my boys. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe. But for the rest of you, enjoy the rest of the video. And as always, keep it. Dang.
Okay. Let's hope that this man does not go ape shit. Okay, well. That's officially gone ape shit right here. You just gotta hope that he doesn't attack the face down. A lot of dudes don't attack face down uh, when they play Dark Magician because they think it's gonna be um, Blue Eyes and White Stone of Legend. And White Stone of Legend does kind of wreck this deck. Monster effects burning up the back row wrecks this deck, but. We'll see. Oh, he attacked. So, it is what it is. All right, unexpected die. So this is actually a game winning hand now. Let's see if we can win the game. You could have Treacherous Trap and just be trolling me, which is like, yeah, sure. Here's one, here's two. Popping this, and I'm popping you actually. Ooh, huh? This is what you get for trying to bluff. Take 24. And my spell? Take 25 and be gone. I never miss. They always out here just thinking that you ain't gonna clap them. That's why you gotta run the bird, my boy. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Serena. Going second, that's what I like to see. My monster cards, Predator Hand. Hmm, now this is a Predator Hand. This is a hand that I can understand. Yes. Speak to me, oh hand. Great Cardos. I want to Hakai three cards and I shall. I have enough to blow up three cards, but do I have enough for game? Level Og, ugh. For eight. Well. He a little confused, but he got the spirit. All right. Dodo, that's game time. Unexpected die. Mm -hmm. This is my symphony of tilt. Mm -hmm. He's got that live back row back there. All right, special shield gun. You got something live back there. I just hope it's not Tretch. Like, that's my worst nightmare. <laughs> it is my worst nightmare right now. Not gonna lie. Tretch or some sort of negate your effect spell card or some shit like that. Like, that's like my worst nightmare right now. That's absolutely fine, actually. And I and I can actually float into my big twenty uh into my beater because that but I'm not gonna do that. But I can but he didn't negate my effect, so I can still special summon and destroy a back row. So we got this game. Oh Tiger Monster, your opponent controls and change the battle position. Uh okay, cool. If he if he tributed to take control, I would have uh, actually 
clapped him, but we're gonna go ahead and contact Fusion since he floodgated me. Gazaris, blow this up. Thank you very much. Mm hmm. You get you a card back. Normal Shokin. Baru. 24. Nice. And from my hand, I activate a spell. It's called Swallow's Nest. It allows me to special summon a great beast from my deck. Come forth, Phoenix Beast. Get rid of Yes, my boys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. We're gonna be clapping with the gladiator beast from here on out. But until the next video, my boys, I want you to go forth and never miss. Remember those days, those L's, I couldn't sleep right now. I get paid, fake I'm staying beside. Breaking the blues over steak, I gotta eat right. You could be my peace sign. I don't need that energy around me. I just need sun, you're so cloudy. I wake up good, you're so grouchy Please get from around me